Serrano owed me, he'd paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisal meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. something I wasn't seeing. fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. Before more of those assholes showed up. I'd seen some dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then, true to form, more of the rats came out of their holes. At least my visitors have been kind enough to leave the gate open. It was time to see what VIP treatment awaited me on the penthouse floor.
Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Were the crotch of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? Any time I'd bought, it had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now.
That was the last of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building. And all the evil in it. Vai, vai, rápido, rápido, vai! Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Wanna be a hero? I got nothing to lose, let's do it! Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senhor Nevis! What the fuck is your problem, man? <laughs> my problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American! All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried. Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything! We have the record! Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, you're... Powerful people are gonna help you out of this one, buddy. chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss's brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get into loosen the purse strings and the family money. 
They pressured me into doing it. You wanna die? I came back for you. I did my best. I'm having a kid, Max. I gotta go. Fuck you. Sure. Later. Now, let's go. This thing works. Everything. No, you don't. I'm sorry I couldn't save your sister. I was there. It wasn't your fault. I was paid to protect her and I didn't. She married into a sick family. Maybe. I... I just wanted to say thank you for giving us a chance to live. I mean, as a family. I hope it all works out for you, for all of you. Thank you. Don't be too long. Well, buddy, that's it. Where are you guys gonna go? Uh, I don't know, maybe back to New York, uh, maybe down to Argentina. Giovanna has family in Salvador. Maybe we'll just stay there. Yeah, I got business to take care of. Uh, I I'm sorry I, I dragged you into this. I, I know, uh, I, I know it was very wrong. It's all right, it's done. But hey, I'm having myself a fun old time. Maybe this is how things had to be, figure I... Might as well die in the sunshine as die in the snow. Look, I'm sorry I'm leaving. I, I got a kid coming. You, you know how it is. I know how that is. You know, I, I almost didn't say goodbye to you. I said to myself, maybe this guy will put a bullet in me. <laughs> maybe I will. But not right now. Thank you. Try to look after yourself, Max, huh? Life is worth living. If you say so, pal. I thought I was going to have to witness another murder. <laughs> nah. Not him. You ready? I guess. Okay. I've uh, looked through this information you gathered. And it's not very nice. What is it? It's the Ufe. The famous Mr. Becker. Friend of Victor Bronco. <laughs> yes. And a contributor to his campaigns. A government employee, of course. And? A weapons dealer. A murderer. This was known. A dealer in human organs. This wasn't known. A proper gentleman. Mm, sure. So you're gonna bring him down? <laughs> yes, because I want to lose my wife and my children and then get killed myself. All that after watching him walk free. Tell me what has to be done. Well, officially, there's uh, nothing I can do. And unofficially? Well, we can always try something a little more creative. Creative? De Silva had promised me a 10 o'clock showcase. I had to make sure I was on stage and ready for my close-up. Diga a Becker. Que vim para ele. Ah! Mano, o que é esse cara aí? Faz a tua conta, rapaz. Vai, vai. Fudeu! Meu conta é o terço da Ei, o que é essa cara aí? Convidado nosso. Quebra esse otário aí. Deixa comigo, dá uma lição nele. Então, o pai dela não diz. Patrão, filha da puta! Atrás de inocência! O que é que você vai fazer? 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 Você vai f
Tá pensando o quê? Ah, onde é que você vem? Ah, ah, fica aí, cara. Ah, eu! Se ah, fudeu, filha da puta! Otário! Não, 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 Deixa eu sair daqui, né? Ô, oh, oh, segura a porta aí. Hey, what are you doing here? Huh? I ask you a question. Answer him. Answer him. What are you doing? What? What are you doing here? O que você está fazendo aqui? What are you doing here? I, I don't understand. I can't hear you. What are you what doing, you're here? doing you here? Me in the ear. Hey, answer me. What are you doing here? Back in the precinct after all this time. Time to find out what the hell was going on. I knew nothing resembling good times lay beyond that gate, but I was gonna have to face the music sooner or later. Figured I'd bag those up for evidence. I guess our little stunt helped some other civic-minded people raise valid concerns about community relations. Their faces said it all. I was on their side, but how could they know that? If they came through that door, I'd be leaving as a human shield and never leaving at all. Luckily for me, for once, the police arrived just in time. It sounded like all hell was breaking loose. Whatever nonsense De Silva had pulled, it seemed to be working. Oh. 
Mr. Have a nice day, guys. The last few prisoners were trapped in here, and more pressingly, seemed I was too. The security switch had to be in that booth. About the only friend I had left in that town. It had the right idea. There was no point bouncing bullets off that thing. I decided I'd try to pick up where he left off. And then immediately regretted that decision. Crying shame to let that RPG go to waste. Shame to let that RPG go to waste.
Well, wasn't this nice? The perfect end to a perfect trip. If someone had told me six months ago this was where my life was headed, I'd have ordered a double of whatever they were drinking. Drunk it, then blown my head off. Any time the prison riot had bought me was starting to run out, I had to keep moving. tentando fazer. Quebra as pernas dele! Cadê seu respeito? Não está! Another dark rainy night, another police station, another futile crusade for amends. Time moves forward and nothing changes. Every bastard in the joint must have known I was on the loose by now. I couldn't afford to waste any more time. Police food, the same crap the world over. But I could reminisce about the old days later. For now, there was more pressing matters to deal with. They'd come from the control room. It looked like the security cameras were still running. It looked like the prisoners were giving them a run for their money. That's what happens when you hand some roided up halfwit a commando uniform with special on the front and let him ride around his hometown in a tank playing soldiers. Sooner or later someone's gonna decide he's not so special. There were a bunch more in the elevator tooled up like they were about to roll into Fallujah. And of course, they were headed my way.
the heat was rising, that meant I was getting closer to the source. I had to keep moving. I saw the elevator doors were open. Luckily, I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. One thing I learned since being in Sao Paulo, it was that me and the local elevators were not a good mix. Whatever depressing fate lay on the other side of those doors, there was no point in putting it off any longer. killed more cops than cholesterol and still no sign of Becker. It wasn't the first time it dawned on me I should probably have gone over the plan in more detail, but it was too late for that now. If 
If I didn't hurry, Becker would be long gone. They had their body armor, I had mine. Sao Paulo's own David and Goliath. I'd pinned De Silva as a coward, but he'd risked more than anyone, and he'd never taken a bribe. AUP. Those were the guys who jumped the yacht in Panama. And what was this? Had the Brazilian cops tipped them off about the money? I still didn't know how I'd gone from drinking myself numb in New Jersey to looting corpses in Brazil. But this was where I was, 5,000 miles from a home I couldn't go back to on another suicide mission to clean up a mess that wasn't even mine. I'd spent my career dozing off in the briefing room. Now wasn't the time. The CS were all but out of business in Sao Paulo, and suddenly Becker and Victor looked like local heroes in the war on crime. They'd really gotten their money's worth outsourcing their problems onto me. My old pal Serrano. We'd both been unwitting clowns in this sorry circus. Part of me hoped he'd made it out of that hotel alive. I didn't recognize the guy. Maybe this was the new slum king De Silva had talked about. A throne never stays empty for long. Fame at last. It was no great surprise I'd made Ufe's most wanted list. I hadn't done much to improve the reputation of Americans abroad over the past few weeks. And there they were, my illustrious employers. Three dead and still, every chance I'd go four for four. None of this was going to look good on the resume. And I was in good company. Howl Passos, sent up north to find a washed-up gringo who would act tough and play dumb. Boy, did he ever deliver. I was starting to feel as if I'd never leave that place. Like one of those nightmares where you keep running and running only to discover you're chasing yourself.
Nothing I was gonna find in there could make a difference now. I had all the evidence I needed. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. This was a waste of time. The doors were all locked. There had to be something else I wasn't seeing. If I didn't do something soon, I was going to be crying myself to a very long sleep. The bastards had me locked in. This was a waste of time. Tear gas. This wasn't good. I needed to find a way out of that stairwell and fast. My eyes and throat burned, but at least I could breathe. I was trying to work out what direction I was headed in when I discovered some more Brazilian architecture not designed for the American physique. There it was, the tape from the Bronco security system. Jesus, it was that guy. I had seen him in the favela, Bachmeyer, Becker's right-hand man. His time would come, him and Becker. I'd seen enough. It was time to bring this nightmare to an end.
I couldn't get that tape out of my head. Why had Ufe killed Rodrigo? I wasn't gonna find any answers in the forensics lab. I had to push on. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I know who you are. Then you should have killed me in the office when you had the chance. There's still time, meu camarada. Como lutar contra um exército? and still nothing to show for it. It felt like I was detaching, that maybe this was revenge for something else, something buried deep in the past.
Rodrigo, Giovanna, Passos, everyone who'd meant anything was gone. Like so many times before, I'd found myself alone, locked on a course of destruction. It was at my worst when I was at my best. It was time to get out of that circus before any more clowns showed up. Special Forces Painkillers. Gente, 
gente. Você não... I felt like I was going around in circles, getting further away from the truth. I had to find my way out of there. Becker and Bachmeyer had taken their pound of flesh and sold it on the black market. Now I was coming for mine. Luckily, I wasn't the only cop with a pill problem. Tô esperando a confirmação do outro grupo, mas o gringo já deve estar tá morto agora. Senhor, ele não parece estar tá morto! Filho da puta, pelo amor de Deus!
Não se mexam, porra! Aqui! Aqui! Ah, aqui. O filho da puta me pegou! Ah, Preciso me deslocar! You Americans love to interfere in things you do not understand. Oh, I understand plenty, asshole. How stupid can one man be? <laughs> <laughs>